and do it from here now. Same thing. It's the exact same drill. I don't want you to block, I don't want you to jam, I don't want you to shred, I don't want you to hit back. I just want you to, he does the drill. Now my hands are here. And so now I look at everything again that's coming through. And I'm noticing by having my hands here, you're gonna feel a big difference just by between this and this. Just by your body posture, you're gonna feel a lot more confident and a lot more secure with your hands here as the person's doing the drill. And your reflex is gonna to wanna to do something. As he's shoving me, I feel my reflex wanting to fucking hit, do something, right? And so I feel what it wants to do intuitively and I build a combative strategy around that. So if I'm here and he's shoving and you can bam, oh fuck you, now I've got your fit. There's no way on earth he's reaching me now. Because as he's shoving and I'm getting knocked back, I see fucking the body starts to flip, boom, and I flinch downwards. I stop the guy and then I get into the vitals and I rip his face off. But we're not going to do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> so next drill again, same thing, but now your hands are here. Get a sense of what's touching first. Because if you're doing the sucker punch instead of the tackle, in order for him to reach my face, if my hands are here, slow motion, right? In order for him to reach my face, yeah, see how he touched my hand first? And it touched my arm first because it's just here. Before his fist connected to my face, without me even moving, his arm connects here first and then it lands. Before even getting into the tackle, before he has to get into the full-fledged tackle slow motion, his, watch what happens with the shoulder. Boom, I'm like, oh shit. What happens here? He touches again, my arms first. He's offering me a lot of tactile sensitivity for me to react to. Not just body language, but you'll feel it coming. And by having your hands up here, the talking hand stuff, you're creating a psychological obstacle that your opponent thinks you're just we're scared and kowtowing or whatever. He doesn't think you're doing this out of strategy. He really thinks that, oh man, I'm really sorry. If I've done anything to upset you, blah, blah. His brain doesn't go, oh, his hands is the closest weapon club. Because if that was the case, well, he wouldn't be doing that now, would he? If I thought, well, if you look where his hands are, he could bust my nose and go out, well, fuck it. You know, yeah, they wouldn't do that. And so if the person's in your face fucking mouthing off doing this kind of shit and getting into the aggressive posture, you can deduct right away this guy has no clue how to fight. He has no idea. Because nobody with a uh, half an ounce of fucking IQ is going to expose their vital targets while they've got their guns and their shields by their hips here. Right? Because from here, this is a no-win situation for me, man. There's no way I can hit him before he hits me. It's impossible. I just start to do this, his hands are right there. And there's nothing I can do to stop him. So get a sense of how it feels like from here and feel again that energy. Get a sense of what's coming in. Again, I want the dialogue and the facial expressions just like you did before, but now your hands are here. Questions? Grab a partner. <laughs>